Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Modded Minecraft 1.12 here on the One Man One Mod Mod Pack. We are going to continue with immersive engineering today. We're going to take a look at one of the enchantments that is available in this pack. It's not part of immersive engineering. It's part of, well, some other mod. Anyway, we're going to see if we can build ourselves a better axe. We're going to improve our windmill. And if we've got time, uh, we are going to build a water wheel. So let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got quite a packed schedule today. And if we've got extra time, I've got plenty more ideas that I have gotten the, the materials ready for. But we shall see. We shall see. Now, first things first, as we are doing uh, this, okay, we need to improve that guy. There's a little bit better of, of, of something that we can get to. Is the book in here? Yes. And so the engineer's manual is going to tell us let's take a look here at power generation and then we'll go a little bit further in yeah over here we can make this windmill sail out of tough fabric and then we can apply it to the windmill by right clicking it in the world so so we'll see we've got what one two three four five six seven eight blades on there so i think we have to make eight of these things and we'll see if this is indeed the case here let's take care of this particular aspect it should help with the if general uh, generation so we'll do tough hemp fabric let's bring that up okay so it's a bunch of industrial hemp fiber and sticks we're gonna need well let's just do one for the time being do i have sticks on me yes i do so let's do that uh we'll do like this so we'll do um uh eight we'll we'll try that and then a windmill sail let's see if that does what we want so let's grab one of these and boom was that seven one two three four five uh no it's six okay so we'll do that and so we've got this let's do uh right click it right click it in the world Okay, so that's one. Okay, so that's an improved. Okay, so we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Okay, I think we can do that. So let's see what that's going to require. We've got uh, some more tough fabric there. I think we can make another windmill sail. Yeah, sure enough. And right click. I'm right-clicking. What's what's it take? Oh, I see. You right-click on the center post. Got it. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So we're going to need what? We've done two. We need six more. So six times six is 36. So let's just do that real quick. We'll leave 10 in our crafting window right there. And boom. Okay. And then we can make the windmill sails. Let's do that and bring those down here so we can mess with these and then after this we need to do something that is not at all related to immersive engineering it has to do with another mod here in this mod pack called i believe it's cofh yeah there we go that's spinning a little bit faster and we've got well we've got 32 kili if in here so if we were to chuck something in the furnace we could probably do a couple furnaces at a time. I don't know. But let's put all of that back there and put this here and then grab... No, Lapis Lazuli is for what uh, what we might get into a little later. So um, as we are going down this way, let me explain to you what we need to do. I need to build an axe. There is... Yeah, it's, a, it's COFH Core, I believe, adds this thing. It's called... The felling, felling, it's right there. So the felling enchantment, and I think that gets us something like the, uh, what is it? The lumber axe in Tinker's Construct. So yeah, I've been doing more AFK fishing. Oh, and um, yeah, while I'm combining these, let me just show you real quick. I got a Silk Touch book and I got a Mending book 
out of that. And then not just one mending book, but two. So our picks, yes, I got that up to date. Uh, only two mending books. And I, at first I was thinking that Teddy here had modified the, uh, the, the loot tables for fishing to not, uh, not give mending as often. So 10 required there. I need eight right there. Let's put that. Okay. And we've got an ax now it's efficiency four, felling three, unbreaking three. And we're going to put this to the test forthwith. Okay. So, so yeah, I've been doing, uh, doing the standard tree chopping with some stone axes and yeah, not, not so fun. So I thought that Teddy here had modified the loot tables for fishing to not give mending at all, but I think it's just because there's felling, insightful or insight, holding, vorpal, and so I don't know what else actually. Uh, enchanted books. I may not be able to see it easily. Uh, doesn't it? Curse of Vanishing, that's one that we all know and don't really love. Yeah, anything else here? Vorpal, oh, smelting. Yeah, smelting. So, uh, uh, because of all of those extra ones, I think it's just that mending is, uh, I know, it's, it gets it gets kind of short shift. So, so, yeah, so we should be able to go like that. And boom! Oh, man, that's amazing. That is amazing. It's not quite like the Lumber Axe. The Lumber Axe from Tinker's Constructs is a little bit smarter about all of these dangling bits from these other trees here. But you know what? I think I think that's sufficient. And with with a Diamond Axe, we are uh, we're doing pretty well. So uh, we're going to take that. Oh, we've got one more little bit up here. And we'll probably have to go and sleep here soon. But I wanted to come down here and show off how to use the felling enchantment. That thing is awesome. So uh, kudos to the COFH team on that one. And of course, we replant, right? There we go. And yeah. So now we come in here. I need to get... Uh, we've done... Okay, we got a little bit there. What happens if we were to do this? Okay. So that's not so bad. And then we need what, one more. Sorry. Uh, the allergies have been going kind of nuts lately. I'm not sure what type of pollen it is, but I haven't had allergy issues uh, for quite some time. You know what? We'll leave the ore up here. So been doing pretty well there. And then while we're at it, maybe we'll talk about a couple other things that I have done here. So uh, we're not running the original mod anymore. I have added a mod. So again, I'm doing automated fishing or AFK fishing, and I've now added a mod to the, the gameplay. And, and uh, it's a client side mod, but let me show you what it is. I'm going to hit the F7 key and not much happens, right? But what, what, what would happen if we did that? You see that? Okay. So that lets us know where spawnable spaces are. And, and there we go. So that's a, that's a client side quality of life type mod that I did not see. Surprise, light level overlay reloaded was not in here. It's, this is the more overlays mod, which I don't really care for because it doesn't give actual numbers. But, but yeah, so we've got that. And then while we are going up the, up back up to where we need to be uh, doing our project for the day, I want to bring in a few comments of of the episode or episode one. So just to give you a heads up, I'm recording these a little bit ahead of when you see it. So at the time I'm recording, this is episode three. I have not released episode two to you yet. So I am going to be on comments from episode one. All right. So first one from from Kondrick. In, uh, and I'll put these up on screen as well, but what I want to do is bring them up over on, yeah, I've got the screenshots here. So uh, let's move this over here so I can continue to uh, back over here. Okay, sorry for that. All right, so Kondrick in my public Discord says, uh, instead of one man, one mod, the new series should be called one man needs one mod. That way... 
That way it's Omnom instead of Amom. Very clever. Very clever. And that would that would be really, really cool. This I don't get. There's a torch right here. You see that? Okay, and it's fine. Odd. Anyway. And then uh, then Kondrick on the video says no seed and he can't spoil things. He says, spoiler, grass is on the surface. Thanks, Kondrick. And the diamonds are near bedrock. Uh-huh. And, and and here's the thing. If you if I was to give out the seed, the the first thing that somebody would tell me would be the closest location of an ocean monument. And I just can't have that, okay? So I'm not giving out the seed, all right? Maybe at the end of the series, I'll give out the map, and then you can have the seed. But I don't want you to spoil things, especially where the nearest ocean monument is, right? Okay, now we've cleared that. The next next comment comes from Hector, and uh, what does Hector have to say? Uh, he says, if you don't end up using a skyhook, I'll be very disappointed. Looks like a nice little mod pack. So Hector comes from Hypermine. He and I started on Hypermine about the same time, and he's been doing a lot of modded lately. So go check out his channel. Link in the description box below, and check out Kondrick. Link to his channel uh, on Mixer as well. Um, yes, Skyhooks. Skyhooks indeed. Hector, you are clairvoyant. That is precisely what I intend on doing. A little tongue-in-cheek there, and uh, you'll probably see a little uh, winky face uh, smiley on that. And then Scott R says he's going to be tagging along to watch the wonder of immersive. And he expects to see an island full of windmills soon. So we got one and uh, yeah, we're going to be progressing on to more in uh, a little bit. So um, maybe not windmills necessarily, but uh, we are going to be throwing a lot of those power generation things up and, and yes, I do want windmills dotted about, especially on the surface, up against the cliff face. I think that would look really cool. So now, next order of business is we need to make an improved blast furnace. And that means we need to get out our steel and the coal coke there. Okay, we got the upgrade. So we've got some steel in our inventory. It's the first time we've done that. And then I need to take out all these blast brick. Yes, we did just build this last time and I need to make uh, I need to make a uh, what is it I need to make a hopper so that means we need a chest actually we need a few and we've got plenty of oak in our inventory so we should be able to do that let's go back upstairs because that's where our crafting and all of that stuff I had to do a lot of prep off camera tried to use a number of of these preheaters I did I did make the one preheater trying to drive a couple of these and it ends up causing a bunch of lag so I didn't quite uh, couldn't quite do that I'm gonna grab some iron out of here and then let's make a hopper because we do need one of those and then we'll uh, no 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 chest in the middle right and then we surround that with iron okay didn't have to go in and get the recipe for that one and then we need to take blast brick and put steel on it how does that work let's take a look blast enhanced blast brick oh it's a steel plate of course it's a steel plate and we need 27 of those okay so let's get the hammer out right because hammers solve all the problems right let's uh, let's see if we can do this in a smart way okay i is smart there we go we'll grab that and now we can take the steel plate put it on the blast brick and boom bob's your uncle we've got the uh, better blast brick and we should be able to come back down here and then into here we're not going to go for the full-on improved one quite yet because uh, it requires preheaters and we are working towards better ore production where we can actually double our ores. So so yeah, that's, that's not a thing yet. But we build this thing in the same, same configuration, three by three, and then we put a, a uh, hopper on top. 
So let me put that in place right now. We should be able to do that. And then boom, boom, and boom. And then bring out the hammer again. And boom. All right. So the next level blasting, we've got that. We would put a preheater on this side and this side. And each of those preheaters will need some RF going into it. But we can come in here, throw in some cold coke, and then that should go a little bit quicker. Yeah, I don't know. I probably shouldn't do that uh, that many iron ingot because I don't know if yeah if we if we need extra we will come back and get extra. But that's that's what we do, and it will produce slag and steel. But hopefully that goes pretty quickly. Okay, so um, that's uh, that's. Uh, we've done the axe, we've improved the windmill, and we've we've improved our blast furnace. I think our next order of business is to come in here and see about making a water wheel, right? So a uh, few things we're going to need for that. We're, we're going to need the actual water wheels, and we're going to need some place to put it. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to put it right here. We can do... It's got to be, what, five wide? And I want to leave enough room for having two of these things. Five wide. How, how big is it? Seven with the wall? Yeah. Seven with the wall. And then I want to have two side by side. And I want them both to be turning that direction. So, yeah, it'll actually be six. Um, no, no, no. Five and then five. I don't know if there's enough room. I don't think there is. So we got one, two, three, four, right? And then five. Yeah, we just have room for one in this little valley cleft area. So let's build, uh, let's grab some, uh, some clay. And then we've got some hemp in here. So let's do that. And we're gonna make hempcrete because I like that. Um, I want to use as much of the immersive blocks as possible. Okay, let's do that. And then we'll see about building... Uh, let's grab some treated wood planks. And we'll just use treated wood planks. Okay, so let's do that. All right, let's build. Um, we'll go... Uh, it's going to stick out some, which is fine. So we can do that. Um, but I want to go down a little bit here. Um, you know what? Rather than bring you along for this, because the episode, I don't want this to get away from us like the last episode did. So let me clear the area out and then I'll bring you back once we're ready to start building this thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I have dug out this area right here. It's rather large, but from what I'm seeing, I think we can fit two sets of these water wheels in in that area so this is what nine wide and we need seven I've, I've done the extra on on either side so we can get a good wall around it so we are going to need to actually build these things so uh, we're, we're going to need a kinetic dynamo as well do i have enough room in my inventory i don't know if i do let's get rid of that maybe and then maybe all of that and if we need some more which we might need we'll come back to it so let's build a kinetic dynamo so this one you saw me do last time we need to build oh how many is that oh man four copper wires and that means we need eight total plates yeah so oh boy Again, once we get the press going, then it's going to be a lot better. We can get two of these copper wires per ingot instead of just the one. But there we go. That's kind of, that's just the name of the game. Do we have any iron? No, we have to build or we have to craft the coils first. So there we go. No iron in the inventory. No, but we'll need three more and then some redstone as well. So let's grab that. We should be able to get the copper coil. Good. And then we'll get the kinetic dynamo. Okay, so we've got that. 
And now, how about the water wheel? Let's do that. We'll need... Oh, phone's going. My uh, mom is helping me with the taxes, and she's about to put all of that in. So, how many do we need? We need, what, uh, four per water wheel. Okay. And we're going to do six water wheels. So, four times six. Anybody? 24. That's right. So, let's see how many... Oh, that's all we can do right there. Well, let's just get one and then we'll make some more treated sticks like so. Uh, well, how about let's just get a stack for now and then we'll see where we can go from there. Okay, so now we're going to need what, seven more. Okay, let's do that. Seven times four. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't, yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, so we need 24 of these things and no more. Okay, good. And then we'll make our water wheels. Six, there we go. Okay, so we've got some treated wood planks. We've got some hempcrete, uh, actually a decent amount of hempcrete. And then we're not gonna need the fortune pick right now. You know what, we could put the fortune pick. I hesitate to put it there. We're uh, we're outside and you know we could end up with somebody coming up and surprising us but uh, we will hope for the best okay so let's come over this way and build out oh uh, let's see wall's gonna go there right and there okay like so and like so right okay let's just fill that in so we we have that kind of in in play here did i i didn't pick that up okay okay so my goal here is that we're going to have a waterfall going off the edge as well so that should uh should contribute to the overall look and feel of the area so yeah i think i think we're fine here let's do that and then go across and that should give us enough room to actually start placing these things okay and maybe a little bit more uh, like this building wand would be very helpful but you know what again we're trying to do the best we can with one mod okay just one mod and one mod only that's all we need right now I'm probably going to have to get more hempcrete, which means I will have to go uh, back down stairs. No, I've got I've got some more clay up here. All right. So now what we do is we take our water wheel like so. No, we're going to have to go up one uh, one higher. OK, and I think we can do that. Let's just do this and up like so. We need room for the water to actually flow. So we've got to go up one like like this so far so good you with me and yeah we're going to run out of our hempcrete before we get this whole thing finished so i will have to make some more that's fine we've got plenty of both the industrial hemp and the clay so so yeah all right next we are going to need uh the water is going to go over the top like so, and then here on the bottom, we need, uh, let's see. I don't know if we've got any way to simulate how, so water's gonna flow that way, right? And that means, so clock, no, counterclockwise like that, which means we will need a couple of spots right here. Did I get rid of all the stone? No, we can save a little bit on the hempcrete right here. And in fact, in that whole area right, right there, that column, we can save a little bit of hempcrete on. Okay, so let's do that, shall we? Right, and we'll just put stone back in there. Gonna cheat up the corners a bit. And right here. I probably should not be doing this on camera with you. I should be going off camera and building this, but uh, we didn't quite figure everything out correctly. So, so yeah, we're going to need 
Um, how's that go? I think this is how we do this. Is that it? No. How about like that? No, I don't know if that's it either. I've got to go back to the drawing board, ladies and gentlemen, and I need to get some more hempcrete and I need to sleep the night away. So uh, I don't want the episode to get away from us again. So um, yeah, I will be back in just a moment. All right, I think I've got this thing figured out and who knows, we will find out soon enough. Probably, well, we'll see. I don't want water escaping but I don't want to waste tons of materials either. So, so let's see. Let's just set up one of these water wheels. Put that there. Okay, so water's gonna come across the top and then flow down. We're going to need something over in this corner here. So right there. And then, oh, you know what? We're going to need a lot more than that. You know what? Let's just say, uh, let's go for filling in with treated wood planks. And we'll do that all along here. I tried bringing in some of the scaffolding just because maybe it'll look good and, and maybe it will, who knows. But I think uh, just to keep it from being too many different materials in the build, this is already a little more than I would care to do. Uh, uh, more different types, that is. Um, I, I kind of want to avoid that, but I think what we'll do is just fill in all the way you know what we'll just fill in all the way around yep we'll do that with the treated wood uh so like like that and let's not fall off the back of the cliff here okay so far so good maybe let's do that okay now we can come in and put the water wheels in like this and this and then this and that okay and then what we do is we'll get our, where is it? Kinetic dynamo. I had it. There we go. Like that. And then maybe, just maybe, that would work for us. But we'll find out. We shall find out. Over here, we'll get some hempcrete and go in like that to separate the two channels. And then we've got to go down three let's let's go up to the top and see uh see what we're working with up there for our water flow okay let's go up this way up 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 and i really fear that this episode's getting out of hand all right so the water is going to start up against that and so then we go down what one two three like that so there we go and like that all right and now comes the fun part uh we need probably need to plug in our corner right there so let's do that grab some of the treated wood sounds like we've got a pigman that has just come out of our nether portal that's fine we can deal with him later all right, so we've got a water bucket right here. And what I want to do is stop stop the water from flowing before we are ready for it to go. So we will do that and like that, okay? So we'll get water like that and that. And now we've got an infinite water source right here and right here. So far, so good. Okay, now what we should see is if we knock those out, we are getting a little bit of frame rate lag. Does water flow out anywhere? No, I think we've got it contained and that's a good thing. Yep, okay, so that's good. It's not quite 100% though, so what we need to do and it looks like they're slightly off. Uh, yeah, so that's that's not cool. 
And in this, this case, we do what? One there. And then another one right there. Okay. And what we're going for is 100% optimized. So that's that should give us 88 RF tick. If I've set this thing up correctly. And I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we get 88 RF a tick out of it. That would be cool. And then we have another batch of water to get. It would. Mm, I hesitate using more than one or, or getting more than one uh, of these. Oh, uh, what are they? Uh, not uh, these buckets. So we do need, okay, we've got some problems here. Yeah, so that's fine. And then over here. That's good. Yeah, no, no, not good. We've got, oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Let's do that. Okay. And then we'll need access to our our kinetic dynamo there, but we've got still a problem. Huh. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. No, I think I think we're good now. Now the next order of business is to come over on this side and get the last little bit and that involves water there and then we got to do the same thing uh, just get a, a water source going and then eventually we'll fill this all in we should have 88 rf a tick which would be great and since we've got two sets of water wheels uh, that means we'll get 160 176 rf a tick which is not too shabby, if I do say so myself, and I do say so myself. We'll go in over here, yeah, and we'll put this right like so. Grab one out of the middle, and same there, and uh, not quite what I was thinking, and there. No, there. So we should have 100, or 176 RF a tick. Okay, and then what we'll do is just get some lighting down in here so that we don't have any mob spawns. And maybe we should come over here, fill in this part because we can get back through. And then we'll put uh, another torch. Let's bring up the light levels. Yeah, eat and torch and... Yeah, come over here. It's not the cleanest looking thing, but hey, it is done. And we've got we've got a lot of RF coming in, hopefully now. Of course, it is nighttime, but what we need to do is see about getting, uh, well, uh, torches here on the top. But we need to get the RF, or not RF. I keep saying RF. It's not RF. It's IF. So for those of you that have been correcting me, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm used to saying RF. I think our our kinetic dynamo is right there. Yeah. That's not cool. And it what did it? Yeah, it just knocked knocked out a torch. Yeah, not cool there. How do we get access to to that guy? Hmm. Well, well, I don't know. Do we have the same problem? Hmm. Because I bet we should be fine putting a connector on there. But we need, we got to get that RF or IF out of there somehow. And maybe we go in over this way. Like so. Can we get access to that? Yeah, we might be able to. And we've got 
once again. Okay. We should be able to now. Okay, so let's try that. Let's get first a torch and then carry this up like so. And then uh, we'll grab one of our connectors. Do we have any in here? No, I've got it in my inventory. Um, and something that we can connect to. That thing, but it's already got something connected to it. Uh, let's see about building an LV capacitor. That's probably not something I should be building right now, but let's just see. LV capacitor, treated wood planks, lead ingot. We don't have lead on us right now. Do we? No. But I want to prove that this thing is working. So, desperate times, desperate measures. I will be back in just a moment. All right, we're back, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lead ore and chuck it into there, and then while we're waiting on that, we will grab an LV wire connector, actually a couple of those, and we'll get the lead ingot, and then let's make the LV capacitor. We're missing one copper. Oh, I need a two. Got it. Okay. Now, yes, please. Excellent. So we've got that, and then we've got... A capacitor and I've got to be careful here we're gonna do this and then we'll make another stair step like so okay tearing up the top part of this thing this is not quite what I had intended no 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 you okay well we'll set you down in just a moment so um <laughs> how about right here just for testing purposes we'll get this capacitor and then let's put the torch right there and another torch there okay lv wire connector and then is that going up facing side input Okay, so it does not look like uh, we've got any power coming out of that. Does it... I guess maybe it's got to come out of the top. Is that the case? I wonder if we'll be able to actually uh, do this then. What if we did... I just saw Original Junior do something like this. We'll put the capacitor right here and then use the hammer that I've put away and switch it around to face. Let's uh, let's get this way. This is facing side input, output, and then over here. Okay, I'll get this eventually. There we go. All right. Connector connector and then how about now still nothing there is no RF coming out of that kinetic dynamo nothing and this isn't generating anything huh okay the water wheels are spinning and then we've got the kinetic dynamo here maybe it can't handle two two sets at a time Uh, yeah, we're definitely not getting shocked by the thing. Yeah, so... That's interesting. I'm... I'm confused now. I have no idea. I should have thought that this would be working. But maybe... 
maybe just maybe I was incorrect in that assumption. Nothing. Nothing. Well, at this point, I'm not sure. I am going to have to, um, yeah, in the interest of, of episode length, I'm going to have to say that's a failure at the moment, and we will come back. If you've got any suggestions for that, I am going to check off while, while I'm off camera. But, um, yeah, I kind of expected that to be working, and it's not. So if you've got any suggestions for what might be wrong here, do let me know. I'd love to hear from you, but uh, yeah, I, I'm going to have to, I, that's all the time I've got for today. And, and yeah, we've, it ain't working. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. We've got, uh, we've got a decent lumber axe going. We've improved our windmill over there. We've got the advanced blast furnace and we've got some water wheels set up, but they're not working. So anyway, all in all, for what I had planned, we've done pretty well. Probably taken more time than we needed to, but tons of stuff to play with in this mod. And uh, yeah, we're we're getting through it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below or catch me on Twitter or my public Discord. Link in the description box below. And then, um, yeah, that's going to be it for now. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.